Hi, sweet Taurus rising. I'm Jamila, and welcome to the Venus Experiment channel and to your horoscope for this equinox full moon. That's this Wednesday. It's going to be at 6.42 p.m. Pacific time, and the sun is stepping into Aries in that afternoon, and then just after the moon will be going into Libra, so we have this zero degree full moon that the energy is just shifted and then it's full. It's like just going in from this dreamy, dreamy land to exploding into spring with this full moon. So this full moon is going to be lighting up your subconscious and your daily routines. So your health really illuminating your health, how you've been taking care of yourself, your lifestyle, your daily routines, your rhythm. So this next month, you're really looking at how you take care of yourself in your daily rhythms and routines here. And as the sun moves into your subconscious, the next 30 days are really about this internal journey, some dream work here, and really going into a more receptive place. So this, the next 30 days, really going into your mind, into the subconscious, get the dream journal out for the next month because the sun is lighting up your subconscious here. So you can have some clarity with it. What's going on in there? <laughs> That's beautiful. I mean, because all of us are in a very interesting dream world with this Mercury retrograde, conjunct Neptune. It's very much dreamy, dreamy land. And you get some illumination through your dream land, through the subconscious. It's all getting lit up. And, oh my goodness, Uranus just went into Taurus March 6th. So now your identity, Taurus rising, is getting a whole awakening, a makeover. <laughs> your first house, this is how you pre present yourself in the world, your physical body, and the mask that you wear, your rising sign, is getting a whole awakening. So this is a really exciting period, especially with it's just having changed. But it's going to be doing this awakening and remodel or a shakeup of your identity and of your physical body and how you present yourself in the world. The mask that you wear is going to be different. It's really changing up Taurus rising and Taurus doesn't love to change, right? Really likes to get comfy and solid and settled. Um, but Uranus wants you to wake up for the next seven years that it's going to be going through your sign and your first house, your identity. Your whole look is going to get an awakening, some sort of new vision. It's exciting for you, Taurus. Very excited for you. And so this full moon really illuminating your health and daily routines. You have this opportunity here for a new beginning for how you take care of yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. So yay, Taurus, gonna take care of the health. For the next 30 days, it's the big focus, health. <laughs> yay. And Venus and Mars are squaring for this full moon. And Venus is in your career house. So you're wanting this freedom in your career and having this uh, autonomy in your work life and this friendship in your work life and it is feeling this friction between this part of you that wants to create solidity and form and security with Mars going through your first house so you're really pushing your physical body more than ever so it's this internal friction between career and just wanting to go for walks and going be physical be this really strong warrior physical energy so is it career or is it going for a walk <laughs> or doing some sort of physical energy uh warrior energy thing uh 
Yeah, obviously that's a that's a lot to unpack. So I think it's just an internal friction between how you want to receive and what you want to put out. You want to receive in your career right now. You want to receive all these friends and this autonomous, fun relationships. But this part of you wants to go for that walk by yourself. So maybe both need to get their needs met with this passionate relationship and this internal friction is creative. It's this Venus Mars square, the perceptive and the the animated side are at odds, but they're creating something here. So what are you creating as you illuminate your health and your daily life and also your subconscious here? So it's an exciting month for you and I will see you for the next new moon in Aries that will be in your 12th house so an awakening in your in your subconscious so it's a lot about your subconscious and dream world get that dream journal for this month <laughs> as you light up your dreams okay I'll see you later bye Taurus rising